can't handle the truth. Hello everybody, my name is Ifan Yoba and this is 360 Degree Mastery. This is a channel where we teach you personal effectiveness, self-mastery and how to create grand manager wealth. Um, if you are watching this video right now, you have not subscribed to the 360 Degree Mastery, then what are you waiting for? Please go ahead, hit that subscribe button so you have access to all of my online content. Hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are coming out. I put out new videos every week and my videos are full of tips to make you a better person, to make you a happier person, to make you a more successful you in your life, in your business and in your relationships. Last week I did a video where I talked about, you know, the secrets of seizing the day super early and I told you about some things that you can do, you know, to get up early, to seize the day early, to get the best out of the day, uh, even before the dawn while others are still sleeping. And um, that video went over well with a lot of people. I got a lot of positive response. That's why today I want to talk to you about something similar. I want to talk to you about the power of being prepared, the power of preparedness. And to give you that in perspective, I want to share an experience that I had recently. Now, for some time now, I've been having challenges with getting my son ready for school on time. Uh, by the time I, I come back from the gym, I expect that my son will be ready uh, you know, to go to school so I can just pick him up and drop him off and still get to the office on time. But a lot of times when I come back, either he is not ready, he has not finished his breakfast, or he has not put on his uniform, or he's looking for a sock, or he's looking for a shoe, something like that. I get upset. I scold him and he always comes back with an excuse, one excuse or the other. And I don't like it because that become a trend. And I understand the importance of teaching them, you know, uh, you know, the value of being on time, of punctuality, of responsibility. So uh, one day I decided to try something that I do myself. One of the things that I do to get myself ready in the morning is the night before, before I go to bed, I bring out my gym bag. I go into my closet. I bring out the clothes that I want to wear the next day, the shoes I want to wear the next day. I fold them carefully. I put them in my gym bag. I lay out my gym things, okay, on the counter, uh, my shoes, my socks, uh, you know, my watch, everything. I lay them out on the counter, and then I make sure that my headphones are charged before I go to bed such that the moment my alarm goes off I get up I quickly do my meditation I observe my morning toilet pick up my bag without having to worry about where things are and I leave immediately so that I can get to the gym on time and maximize my workouts I decided to try this with my son so I told my son you know what we're going to do? Let's bring out your uniform, your school uniform. Let's bring out your shoes, your socks. Let us arrange them. Let us put them on the counter. Uh, let us make sure that your toothpaste is out, your toothbrush is out. Let's make sure that there is water for you to take your bath before you go to bed. So that by the time your mother wakes you up in the morning, within five minutes, you have brushed your teeth. Within 10 minutes, you have taken your bath, you have made your bed, you have dressed up and you are ready for breakfast. All right, so the first day we tried that, it didn't work out so well. Um, you know, my son was still getting used to having, you know, to to you know to to get up and move immediately. And by the second and third days, I found that he was taking less time to get ready. And by the time I got back from the gym, he was already prepared and waiting for me outside. Now, what I'm trying to bring out here is the power of preparedness. Sometimes you will not have an opportunity, you will not have the time to prepare yourself to launch into an assignment. That is why it is good to prepare yourself ahead of time. Okay, do what I do. Prepare your clothes, prepare your shoes, prepare your car. You're going on a journey. You don't wait until the day that you are traveling or the day you are driving out to go to the mechanic and have your tires checked and have your oil levels and fluids checked. No, you take some time, a couple of days or a week before that time, you check your tires, you check your fluid levels, you check your suspension, you check your transmission, check everything, make sure that the car is in order. So on the day you are traveling, all you have to do is to get up, get into your car and go. Okay. It's a very powerful principle. It will help you succeed. It will help you maintain success. It will help you do exploits. You will achieve a lot. If you prepare ahead of time, make sure that you have what you want to do prepared ahead of time um, in the office. Maybe before you go home, you have uh, something that you're going to do the next day. You can prepare ahead of time bring out some of the files you can arrange the tables uh, you know the tables or the schedules you're going to work with key these things up so that when you come into the you know the, into the office the next day and you sit down at your desk you are already prepared you are ready to go 
trust me to save you time it will make you look very efficient very effective very professional and you will get a lot of positive results that is the power of preparedness how do you see this video if this video was helpful please go ahead and click like share this video with somebody who needs it subscribe to my channel like i said continue to observe the safety protocols i wish you a prosperous week ahead my name is ifan yuba and this is 360 degree mastery i'll see you next week god willing with more tips and more information on how you can live a better happier and wealthier life with peace of mind namaste